But we're about to get going. Oh, it's about for to the get year. nuts. It's about I've only to get seen crazy. Uh, three movies all year. I saw one, and we'll talk a little bit about it. I'll talk about the movie I saw, too. I I'll just, I am not happy about it. That is all I will say. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's see if I remember. I, I didn't forget how to drink beer. I know how to do that. That's for sure. Let's see if I know how to talk. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of, what is this show called? The, the Know Nothing, know nothing show. show. All right. We've Already been gone a long time. So <laughs> if you're still here and you stuck with us, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Because we don't it. remember the name of our own show. But you know what? That is okay. Because what do we know? Nothing. Nothing. Not and even the name of the show. literally why it came to be. We <laughs> know nothing of what's going on. That's exactly but What right. I do know Cause I'm liking this beer. Me too. I'm liking this beer. So this is a cream stout from Second Street Brewery. Brewed uh, up in Santa Fe. Yes. So, so this is a good one. Nice little it's local not, brew. Uh, it's smooth. It is very Real creamy. Smooth. Yeah. Hmm. So it doesn't have that like really dark Guinness yeah. taste to it. Exactly. Yeah. It's actually it's lighter than yeah. than that. And Guinness I think stout. anytime somebody pours a dark beer, like oh, does it taste like Guinness? Like this does not like, taste no, like Guinness. No, no, it's no. still dark. This is, but this is ooh. very drinkable. Also, yeah, very drinkable. Mm-hmm. Very dangerous because it's so delicious. I do and like it. For those uh, celiac folks out there, the gluten has been removed, removed from this gluten. beer. No gluten in uh, this uh, Second Street. So that cream takes stout. it from a two dollar beer to a nine dollar exactly. beer, probably. <laughs> yeah, I bet you. I don't even remember what. Uh, I got. It's good. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I like it. Very I, good, I can do guys. This. Highly recommend. Uh, I'm gonna probably put this up there at like a eight and a half uh, for me on this. I'll one. go nine. Nine. I'll go yeah, because I do. Yeah. I do I was, really like yeah. it. No, it's very good. This I do really like good. it for a shot in the dark off the shelf. Yeah. yeah. I think I nailed it. Yeah. This was amazing. So I'm about it. I'm about it. I'll go, go to visit. Nine. Go visit Second Street. It's a quick one today. It's a quick one. Have, it's because there's nothing to talk about. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen three movies all year. Are they, have and you seen? last year, I had I saw nine movies in the month of January, and we're already halfway through February. Oh yeah, so you're so way. So I'm down. behind big time. Me too, and two, and again, I'm I'm mostly doing shows right now. I think I'm just trying to get caught up. Yeah, I actually start the new year almost the same way. The last three years, I think I've started the same way, which is with Emily in Paris. Every because okay. it comes out at the end of December, yeah. beginning of January. So I always mm. start with Emily in Paris, and I always finish that one. Yeah, and then I move on to the next thing, and the next thing for us uh, was a show, not a movie, right? Because it, it yeah, but that was always it was always planned. It was always, always planned. Was always we planned. always knew that was going to happen. Mm. It's it's award season, yeah. so we know not a lot of stuff is necessarily coming out. Which is uh, fine because good. I needed a break. I had yeah. stuff going on. Clearly, we've been gone for a little bit. Life. So we've had a lot going on, um, but I'm ready. You're all right. So Me the, too. So I've seen just super quick. Okay. I've seen a man called Otto. Oh yeah, you heard that was amazing. It was great. I saw it twice actually. That's Damn. yeah. I don't remember the second movie I saw. Which That's is embarrassing. Kind of frustrating. That's like sad for that movie. I know. Gosh, it's good. I should have looked. And then the most recent one I saw was 80 for Brady. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did you see went that. and go. I went just had to go see something. Just go. Because I'm at the movies once a week, and I hadn't seen anything. I hadn't been in the movies. So you just all my movie theater worker friends hadn't seen me. They were probably worried about me. <laughs> Where's Diego? <laughs> um, so I saw 80 for Brady. It was good. It was okay. like a good streaming movie. Like I definitely anybody could watch it. It's, yeah, it's, it's super fine. funny. All right, I'm gonna tell you the movie that I saw. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I have no idea. I saw Your Place or Mine. Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Reese Kutcher. Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. Yep. Hello Sunshine. Yes. I like Hello Sunshine's like whole deal going on, right? Yeah. Reese Witherspoon has basically a book club that she's going to make mm-hmm. movies out of. That's how I watched From Scratch, the at the show uh, last uh, last year that came out on Netflix. That was oh, in my top yes. 10 yes, from Scratch. Remember. Yep. Okay. Uh, and I thought I was in for a treat. Mm-hmm. This movie was terrible. Really? It was awful. I don't recommend anyone watch it, actually. Is it long? It's not so good. 90 minutes. Uh, it's an hour 45. Okay. Yeah. Cause I saw the trailer. I'm like, Hey, I haven't seen Ashton Kutcher in a little yeah. bit. So that's yeah. fun. 
Yeah. I'm watching rewatching the ranch right now. That's right. So I love yeah. watching him be a fake cowboy. It's like one of my favorite shows of all time, like by far. Um, but See? yeah, I'm like all about it. I had the same, I had the same, uh, expectation. was it just dumb or like poorly written or just like this? It's a, uh, it is dumb. Time. Like the story doesn't make any sense. I, okay. I, I know what they were trying to do, but yeah. that, that does not happen in the movie. And okay. it is, it is a master class of overacting. That Ooh, that's so acting. bad. And so it's that's hard. so it's hard to get through. Yeah, because you're watching it and you're just annoyed at the way that they're acting the whole time. Ooh. Every character in this movie overacts. So that's it's a bummer. bad. Because that bad. makes a movie so unenjoyable. Absolutely. Because that well, maybe not to everybody, but to guys like us, it's so obvious. It's bad. It's so obvious think, when they're doing I mean, that nonsense. If I if now that I pointed it out, if you go watch the movie. I think it will be very obvious. But do you think I would have noticed on I'm my own? I'm wondering if people would be like, oh, wow, that's not good. There's some parts I do think everyone is going to catch that's like, Eesh, that that just, nobody did a good job. No so one. have you seen any scores on it? I haven't. On the Rotten Tomatoes or anything like I that? I haven't I'd seen a curious. Rotten Tomatoes score, but I would be surprised if it's above 30%. I'd hmm. be surprised because it is not, uh, it's I mean, uh, critically like uh, yeah. maybe audience scores could be in the 60s. Yeah, or, but or, audience scores are always high for stuff like that. I know, They're always I so and high. I, and everyone's going to be like, well, you're not the demographic. And nah, nah, nah. But you are the demographic. I know. So I'm like, don't. So it's like, oh, but it's just like a Hallmark movie. No. I see a lot of Hallmark movies yeah. every year, mm-hmm. and I enjoy most of them. Yeah. Despite the silly storylines. Yeah. I enjoy most of them. And. This is not that. This is someone who tried to make a Hallmark movie and did not succeed. That is what this movie is. And it's a Netflix movie. It's a Netflix movie. Yeah. 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 And again, there's been some. There you go. It's a Netflix movie. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. I might still watch it just to add something to my list. I mean, put it on. Go and like, if, like if you go to the bathroom, you won't have to pause it. Yeah, you just like go oh, to the it's bathroom. Like a phone movie. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call them. Like, I can be on my phone during this movie. Yes, you will. Okay. You will. De- you will check your phone multiple times while you watch yeah. this movie. That's how I gauge something. That's how yeah. anybody, just so people know, is my interest level in something. Oh yeah, specifically a movie. If I check my phone, too, I'm just not about this movie. Dude, the way I know is uh, if if I'm watching it with my wife. And one of us gets up to pee during the movie if we ask each other to pause the movie. That's how I know. Yeah, if it's worth watching. They're like, hey, hey uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Can you pause it? And yeah. then you pause it and wait for the other person. But if I get up to pee and Kat's like, oh, I'm going to pause it. And I go, no, don't worry about it. Then I'll, like, I just go, she just like keeps it, you know, keeps it running. And then she's I get like, back and then, it. and then she's like, oh, does he need, like, oh, do you need to get caught up? And I'm like, I really okay. don't. Like, okay. I, I, f- I created the movie in the bathroom yeah. and I, I'm sure I've heard it. It still it's sucks. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I still might check it out, but let me know what you think. It's a, it's a Not slow good. January. It's a slow half of February, which is fine. That's totally yeah. cool. Cause it about to ramp up and that starts this week. Exactly. Thursday night. I'm you unfortunately jealous. will not be there. I'm jealous. But we got the movie crew. We're heading out Thursday night at 6:45, 7, something like that for for Ant Man. We'll get there. But oh yeah, I'll be there Sunday. We'll so get we'll there. still watch it. Mm-hmm. Expect your out of theater review mm-hmm. on it. So I want everyone. Yep, to, me and Birdie will do one. All right, awesome. Because I definitely want to hear your reaction. And I'll be there on Sunday, so I yep. can definitely um, we can review it on our next episode. But this episode, but we know a lot's coming up because we got ninety-five trailers. To exactly. Talk about. <laughs> Yesterday a was a a little uh, known holiday. Not many people are aware of called the Super Bowl. Yep, this is Super Bowl <laughs> recap. By the way, you want to do a yeah, Super Bowl recap? Yeah, follow our, our yeah. agenda. This is this is the the know nothing show where we talk about everything we know nothing about. Yes, and we know nothing about football. And I am not a professional football player whatsoever. Nope. But I will say this. Last night's game was awesome. Yeah, it was a good game. Okay, good. I I when you have a tied up game in the fourth quarter, oh, like four minutes left, it was tied up. Four I and mean, a half. Come on, mm-hmm. come on. You're doing you're doing a good job out there, guys. Yeah, you're keeping people engaged. Exactly. It was fun. To me, it was. I don't remember the a Super Bowl in the last six seven years that I was just super disinterested in. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so this one with this show, I was like, doesn't matter who wins. I don't like. Yeah. I was very disinterested in it. And usually, uh, to some degree, I'm in, like, I'm like, oh, yeah. like, I'm excited in some way or another. Like, as in you're rooting for a team, like, wholeheartedly, or? No, just that, like, I know it's going to be, like, a memorable one. Okay. Like, I don't think that people are specifically going to remember this Super Bowl as anything. Probably not. I just don't see that. Like, yeah. last year, like, well, they'll talk about Cincinnati. Joe Burrow did a lot of things. Like, people still talk about that. Yeah, yeah. They still talk about the Seahawks one-yard line thing. They still talk I know about what you're saying. the yeah. Giants helmet cats. Like, they yeah, still talk yeah, about yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah. But nothing really happened last night to that's going to transcend about. for the next five years. Yeah. The game itself was good. It was a good football it game. It was a good football game, but and that's true. At least to me, there wasn't that one. Dude. Yeah. Do you guys like where you're calling? Like next day, you're people like, are still you see that? talking like a, about that moment, like a bad call that changed the yep. course of the game, and like yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just it was wasn't just like that. a regular played out good yeah. game. It was, it was a great game of football. Yeah, it was <laughs> any other game. Like that was a great game. Yeah, and hat, hats off to Kansas City. They won it. Yeah, Rihanna did a good halftime show. Yeah, so we, that uh, was fun. It's always one of those things where you're like, Rihanna, I don't know how many songs of hers I know. And then every yeah. single song, you're just yeah. like, what? Yep. It's my jam. She's right. been on top forever. For a while. Like, yeah. And she's not going anywhere no. either. So. No. She's, I mean, I would take this as a comeback. Yeah. If I, 100%. If I so. Good game. Good show. So, I but, would out, say but out of it we came got, some great stuff. So some despite stuff we like. So, so despite some lackluster commercials. Yeah. Mixed in there were some pretty amazing trailers. Yes. And I'm curious to know the trailers you thought were the worst and which ones were the best based on everything you saw. So I don't think there was a trailer that I didn't like. They're all like, especially the TV spots, right? 30, yeah, TV like 30 spots, seconds. 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Yeah, a minute. And then, um, and then you're out. So they're but all pretty like. So this year, as far guess. as movies go, we'll get back to movies. We know what's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. we. That's what we know nothing about. Um, as far as movies go, there's nothing. I'm like, oh my god, that's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> at least at, I have, at least thinking in the moment. I have one. <laughs> like a lot of stuff, I'm super excited for. So looking like at the things we'll we'll touch on yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Even like Fast X, I thought I was like, this is gonna be dumb. But, right. like, I'm such a big fan of them anyways, regardless of how absolutely ridiculous they yeah. are. I'm like, dude, throwing Jason Momoa in there? Like, I just I know, love Jason man. Momoa anyways. Yeah. Like, so I'm already excited for that. Um, But, yeah, as far as Super Bowl trailers go, I don't think there was one thing I saw that I was like, eh, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and pass. Can I tell you mine? Super Bowl spot or yeah. just trailer? And, okay. Well, well, maybe I might agree because I'm just – I don't – I'm trying to remember all of them. I, I, maybe I forgot. And I think it's because I'm not hyped about this movie at all in general. Okay. And then I I know like they're cutting the trailers to, I think, make it look better than this movie actually is because yeah. they're doing a lot of hiding, mm-hmm. and that is Indiana Jones. I am okay. not excited about Indiana Jones at all because okay. I don't think this movie has a shot. Not a shot. Well, it's it's tough for old Harrison because the guy is in a walker. So the way that not they're not really, but I'm like. But I, the way that they're so the way they're cutting it is kind of around him, right? Yeah. And like, it's it's that's what I'm 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 he- real hesitant about. I have no expectations for this movie whatsoever. I don't okay. think I don't think this movie stands a chance to be good. Not a yeah, chance. That's true. I, I I do think I'm gonna like oh Indiana Jones. Like I'm excited in that sense because I've loved Indiana, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones forever. is awesome. Exactly. It's awesome. But people are talking about this is gonna hit a billion. Blah blah blah. I'm like whoa guys, what? relax. Yeah. No. Yeah. Those conversations be are being shocked. had. But I'm like excited because it's no. Indiana we're Jones. gonna do. They're gonna pull like uh like they're gonna pull maybe like Thor: Love and Thunder numbers. Yeah. Like Six hundred thousand seven. Mm-hmm. Like I. I I, 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 I don't even know if they're going to hit like that. high. It's not going to be good. Like I just, I'm predicting it right now that we are not. And I can't, I hope to be proven wrong. Yeah. I, hope, I, yeah, I want course. nothing more than to walk into a movie theater and enjoy a movie. Yeah. I'm not, I don't hope this movie sucks. I love Indiana Jones. I'm a huge fan of Harrison Ford. I want nothing to be bad about this movie. Yeah. But it just, none of it's like red flags all over the place here. Okay. And I don't, I don't think we're going to have a good time when we go and watch this movie. 
And I mean, we're you know going what? to go watch it. Though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the but thing. But you, you know, you fooled me once with Crystal Skull, you know, and yeah, I, you know, fooled me and shame on you. Fooled me twice. Shame on me. Yeah. So I don't think. So now I'm ready for it. Now I'm expecting it to okay. be bad. Okay, that's cool. So that's my really my only one. Fast X. Yeah. I agree with you. I'm like, you know what? We know what these movies are. Yeah. So. If you if you enjoy them, you're gonna enjoy all of them. Like, yeah, one hundred percent. Like it's not there for you to worry about if this movie's gonna be Oscar buzzed, right? Yeah, it's like, no, no. You know exactly what it is. And I actually really enjoyed the trailer. I mean, it was long. The it trailers was, are it, good. It was over three minutes, but the the way it ended so it reminded me a lot of the first one. They're like actually in a drag race and they're oh, going yeah. like car by car to see everybody. I'm like, dude, that's, that's like the first awesome. one. Like, hey, that's. Yeah. We're back to street racing. Like, I think that's I super, super cool. Yes, I agree. Because I remember them, I think, saying something like that. Like, we're getting back to the roots. Or yeah. Something, and right? I'm yeah. like, that's great. That's fun. Good. These movies Let's are race absolutely again. insane. Yeah. I know everyone's like, why are they, Why is there 10 of them? Because they're still making they're a quadruple awesome. pouring out money. They're billion-dollar like, movies. Like, this franchise is, I yeah. don't want to say a number because I'm not 100% sure. But they were already like at seven and a half billion, yeah. eight billion, for probably all of them. something like that. I don't know the number. They make billions. Yes. Yeah. So they they, they do good money. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like there is that, like we're just gonna go watch them. I'm gonna go watch them. It's a popcorn movie. It's fun. Watch it on IMAX. Yeah, I gotta try to get through all of them. I'm all about it before it comes out because I like to like get caught up on things. Yeah. And so I like to. I'll start after Tokyo Drift. Paul I'll, Walker. Was in the trailer. That was always fun. It's always pulling on your heart. Always good. Like I'm all about it. I'm excited for Fast X. I'm gonna go watch it. Amazing. And then, so uh, aside from those two that we mm. saw, we also got. Um, so I don't want to get to the big one yet, but okay. uh, we got uh, um, Anthony Ramos in Transformers. In Transformers again looks great. I know. Why are they but doing it? I well, know. I just like robots fighting each but other. I is- don't need this to be. An yeah. Oscar winner. It's like, more in the vein of Bumblebee, though, right? Yes. Like, and that's what I think is going to mm-hmm. save this movie. Because if you asked me five years ago if I thought this was going to do well, I would have said hell to the nah. Yeah. But you, you, you know, you get Haley Steinfeld to make a Bumblebee movie, which was great. That yeah, was the best which was one. exactly that was the best one. So then now you go, okay, let's get Anthony Ramos in here. Yeah. Let's make in the same vein of Bumblebee. Mm-hmm. Let's do this Transformers movie. Yeah. And that's why I think, okay, we have a chance here. That's why I'm putting this above Indiana Jones. Yeah. Because I, I don't think that has a chance, but this has a chance to entertain you. Yeah. And, and again, there's like that faithful fan base of like, dude, they Transformers, yeah. Bumblebee, like all this stuff. You know what so it's going to be. I think people will right? show up. Like, yeah. I just. I, I agree with I do. you. I agree because, again, it's, you know exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. It's not trying to be anything else. No. So as long as you know what it is, and good. then you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a good me. time. Let's right. do one real quick that wasn't a Super Bowl. That wasn't? That was not a Super Bowl okay. trailer, just because I have to, because it's me. It was, <laughs> scr- it was your number one. Scream 6. What are you thinking of it so far? I'm like, I'm excited because there's a lot of returning cast members. Okay. Aiden Panettiere is coming back. She's an OG Scream cast member, so mm-hmm. she's coming back. Yeah. I know everyone's super excited that like, it's in New York and like we're out of a small town now. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not excited about I it. I was <laughs> like, I was super skeptical until I saw the trailer. Oh, okay. That's Once good. I saw the trailer, I'm like, let's go. Like, all right, like all Ghostface right. Batcave. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? What is actually happening? <laughs> so, like, after I saw the trailer, I'm like, all right, cool. Now my excitement's back. When he sh- yeah. shot the guy in the convenience store. Oh, I'm yeah. like, oh, just like man. Out of, so. What do you think of Ghostface with a gun? Like what is like is that is that uh, dude? That's not. I don't know. I don't I know. think that's so, right. I know. So that was, that's why I that sent you like that thing. thing. With, if you remember the thing I sent you from Friends uh-huh. with Chandler, when Wait. he was laughing at the cop, he's like, <laughs> "He has a gun." Oh yeah. <laughs> when I first saw the trailer, I was like, "He has a gun." He has what? A gun. <laughs> he's not allowed to have a gun. He can't have a gun. No. That's no was, yeah, that's. He's breaking the rules. What's happening? You're breaking the rules. So that's super interesting. But like Melissa, but I. Hayden, Hayden Panettiere, Jenna Ortega, like, dude, I'm I, yes, the cast sorry, like, is I'm just be great. on board. <clears throat> Maybe end it here. Do we oh, want no. Scream no, no, Seven? No, 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 no. Like, no way, no. I like, do we want to Scream Seven? We, like, what are, is happening? They are setting up for the Fast uh, and the Furious 
uh, I know, track. but I don't want they them are, to. They are on that path. You can't stop them. Which you is fine. If them. this movie's they're great, gonna keep going, and it makes a ton of money, like of course they'll do another one. They're gonna keep. But going. I don't want them. To, well, I guess they've never been good movies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, but the thing yo, is, one was great. Five was great, but like for me, I'm that niche. Four like, was still I good. All, yeah, yeah. Like I liked them all. Yeah. I I'm cool with them keeping it going. Yes, because going I to. really like. But like, don't kill Jenna Ortega. No, as long don't as Jenna kill, Ortega, like, Melissa Bede, like as long as Jenna Ortega's a star, I think. Yeah, we're like see n- her. and now she's like a gigantic star. So yeah. they were talking about it on one of the podcasts. Yeah, this was her pre Wednesday because all this was already shot in film. Yeah, so I like know. they paid her like three dollars to do this screen <laughs> movie. So now for the pretty much anything that Jenna Ortega does next, like you're gonna have to pay her. And like bottom line. Yeah, I could see. So what then that actually kind of counters what I was gonna say, which is the reason they won't stop making these movies is because they're actually super cheap to make. Oh, they cost so, nothing. So you movies won't, in general cost. You nothing. won't need to spend Fast and the Furious money. No. To make these movies, you can keep these going for up, up to ten. And, and as sure. long as they keep them fresh. Yeah. Cool. Bring bring it to New York. That was a fresh take. Yes. And I think that'll be a fresh idea. And, and get people yeah. in again, and then you go somewhere else. Yeah. Right? Gail, she's like, oh, there's ten guys that have done this before. Yeah. Cool. We got to make the next ten super interesting. Yeah. You got to make people like want to stay. I think if yeah. you do the same thing every movie, it's gonna get dry. Oh, for sure. Big Apple, that's exciting. I love the poster. I love the trailer. I love them on the yeah. subway. Yeah. But again, this last trailer really was like, oh, yes, let's go again. Let's do this. I think you can easily. <sighs> for me. Is, you also bring things back with cast members, right? Because like uh, Nev Campbell, did, you know, she obviously didn't get the paycheck she I wanted. Like, to, to. I feel like she's going to show up You think she's still going to be there? I really think at the end. Like a cut scene? Well, so, but like, you Like it. a cut scene thing and she's like. And she's going to say something like dumb and cheesy, like, I'm not missing the next one. Yeah. Or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And she'll be like, shit, I should. Like, it'll be just blood. Ever- everybody's all dead. And she'll walk up and she'll be like, damn, I can't believe I missed this one. Exactly. I'm back. Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, this is I what happens happen. when, uh, this is what happens when I don't help. Or something, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Something like that. That's yeah. what I think. I don't know. I know that then whole again, contract you, thing was like, I know it, it got extreme. Yes. But I believe towards the end or even after this comes out and this makes another like bunch of money, they'll be like, hey, we, we do, do want you to want to come this. back. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Like this is clearly successful for us. Yeah. So what do you need? Well, I need X amount of dollars, ten dollars, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Cool. I agree with you. Or it's already happened and they did work in the end scene. That would be that, so that's what awesome. I think. I really so do awesome. believe at the end. She's going to show up, give us some catchy lines. But, yeah. Oh, well, I guess I got to stick around or something. So Whatever. Tell, but tell me that. So, Whatever. But immediately you got a number seven is what I'm saying. Yeah. See, then I'm coming back for yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. She's back. So then, Super yeah, exciting. this is all speculation. None of this is real. We're yeah. Just, yeah. I have we're no just idea talking what's out happening. Loud. But I'm just, this I'm a Scream all, fan. Yeah. I've been a Scream fan. Like, I'm a, now a Jen know, Ortega, man. Melissa Barea fan. Like, so I'm. I'll on board. You. I know a lot of people aren't, and that's totally fine. Yeah, but I'm going to let you like, watch it, and you can tell me how you feel about yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. All I'll, right. I'll be there Thursday night. So real quick, I'm excited for Guardians because I think this movie is going to go to a very dark place. Okay. I do think that, and I really hope that they don't pull away from it. I really okay. hope we walk away from this movie like, holy shit. Can like, I make another like, prediction? That was rough. Like, that really tugged at me. And I know they're not because they're it's not. Marvel. I, was gonna it's, say, it's, yeah, I know yeah. they're not. But they're gi- they're giving all these hints, at least I'm picking up in the trailer. I'm like, man, something painful is going to happen. Like, yeah. something really is going to. But I'm like, it's Mar- no, it's not. Everybody's going to be fine. Gamora's mm-hmm. death, like, dude, that that was rough. Yeah, they did, I they, really cared about it. They brought her back. Alive, so who cares? Exactly. I don't give a shit about her death. Exactly. It meant nothing. And so, well, the time, I don't care. But when I'm watching this, I'm like, oh, like all this stuff with Rocket. Like I'm yeah. like I'm, I'm, I'm sure yeah. they'll show it, right? But like by the end of this movie, where they like I think could do something really impactful, that like really like lets the guardians sit with you and like you really truly care about them, then it, it'll be taken away. You then somebody will make a joke and then it's not. You are saying that's what I think. Way I more than what I think it's gonna be. Oh. <laughs> way more. Okay. I think you're making a so you yeah so you go. You're making a better movie than I think. Oh, okay. That, oh, that okay. it's actually gonna be. All right. So you go because now I have no idea. I think this movie is going to be the worst of the three. Okay. I don't think I I <laughs> Hey man. There's a thing out there called Vibrate. I know. <laughs> Ever since I started the new job, my phone is on full blast. Oh, that makes yeah, I guess that's true. 
Because I true. have certain people that I have to answer under a certain ringtone. You put them under a special ringtone? Yeah, so if it were to go off right now, I'd have to like get up and like run. Oh, you'd be like, hey, sorry, I got it. Yeah. 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 All right, All right cool. we're good. So you think it's going to be the worst of the three? I do. I think it's going to be the worst of the three. Okay. I think uh, because of all the reasons you're saying, though, right? Yeah. Because the trailer looks good. I mean, visually, yeah. it looks good. Yeah. It looks like they spent all the money to make this movie, and it's going to look good. I think we're going to lose the character development on everybody. I don't think we're going to focus mm-hmm. on anyone, and I think we're going to lose our our attachment to everybody. And we're going to walk out of there being like, well, there were some really cool action sequences, Yeah, and I didn't care about anything that happened. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen. That is my uh-huh. prediction. Yeah. I, would lo- I love the Guardians movies. I yeah. love them. Great. I am really hoping this movie is amazing. And again, if my if Indiana Jones was my my bottom, above that was Transformers. Guardians, Guardians oh. is three from the from gotcha. the bottom. Okay. Because I am just really nervous that they're they're gonna yeah. do a bad job on this movie. I don't think we're gonna have we have too much going on about too many people just in the yeah. trailer itself. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. hard to keep track of what storyline are we gonna focus on here? Because you're right, yeah, Rocket we, was a big. It's supposed to be like a Rocket origin uh, yeah. focused uh, story, but now we got Peter Quill and the Gamora situation. We see him screaming in there. Yeah. We see um, uh, Nebula carrying him, and you're like, what's happening? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, so we, we definitely saw it differently. Yeah, because I'm like, did I we don't watch think the same trailer? We did watch the same which trailer. Was, which is well, fine. Well, after and again, the game, I watched it. Yeah, yeah and, yeah, and yeah. I did the same thing, and I'm not going to work. It's a quick show today, but I'm not going off on the Marvel tenant, but I've already seen too much of these characters. Yeah, so I'm not yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Guardians, like. I've, okay, like it's the third one. Yeah. But I'm really hoping, and I know it won't. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Myself, that it is some sort of impactful, like, like their last moment together. Like they're like, oh, we all go our separate ways. I'm like, because I want to leave. Like, are they showing up again? Are they not showing up again? Like, that's how you want to sure leave. They already have plans for them, for everything else. Yeah. But like, I just I want that impact from moment for marvel and there's only been a few in like the 94 movies that they've done yeah <laughs> which was like infinite movies and, I, and shows yeah, and i know there's so much going on but like i want the moment where you walk out of the theater when and again tiktok and everything has ruined it because everyone's like predicted everything and already said but like when we walked out of god it was an infinity war well, i mean it could have been i don't know infinity what? war end game oh god i always forget which was which but when we walked out we're like well now what it was end game, and, and everybody's like, "Well, what? Like, where to ha- from here? What's gonna happen? What do we do?" And, yeah. and everybody's like, "We just gotta wait. Like, we yeah. just gotta wait till what happens." So I want to have that moment. Of like, are, no. are they? We're not gonna dead? have it. And and we will for like thirty seconds, yes. and then or, someone's yeah. gonna yeah, yeah, fart, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and or do something dumb, and we're like, "All right, well, this is." Then you ruined it. Yeah, you're like, Whoa. Every, you'll just see every, something happen, and then a joke is, and then. But, all right yeah cool. so it's fine it's i think it's going to be way too silly i know we expect like peter quill to die i know we expect like Something. the guardians to diminish and like but like that means like a, a character's death means nothing anymore it doesn't yeah and we're going to see like who's going to die Dra- yeah. we know you know we know uh uh batista doesn't want or uh, yeah you know he doesn't want to do it but anymore like, right how so cool would it be if they gave him like an honorable send-off and, and like, they might, but I, but everybody yeah. needs an honorable send off, is what I'm yeah. saying. Everybody's yeah. done, mm. so we're gonna d- give an honorable send off to everybody in this movie. No, but you could, you could, but you, it's not as gonna like mean a gr- anything. Yeah, as a group, because they're gonna show up in the next thing. Yeah, and that's why and I'm it's like, not, nah. it's not impactful. If they it's all not. leave and you, you're like, oh, we're never gonna see them again, and they all take off. Yeah, they all like they go all, their separate ways or something. I'd be like, whoa, are we gonna? Yeah, and and I, don't and I hope for it, but I know it's not going to happen. So that's fine. Yeah. That's um, so now we can get to the okay, big one. Okay. Now we can get to that. the big now one. Now we get to the big. And I think you'll be surprised at what I have to say. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe you won't be. You want me to go first then? Yes. So that you please. Can, okay. So I can gather my thoughts. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So <sighs> the Flash. We've come a long way. And wow. it's finally here. <laughs> it should have happened two years ago. I feel like, 20, yeah, right? 20? At the very least, it should have happened last year. Yeah, 2021 for sure. And uh, should it's been have a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Okay. We, were, we, we were all waiting. We got a tease a long time ago. Yeah. Finally got the full trailer, and it came out. And 
the trailer did what I was hoping it would do, which is it got me excited. Yeah. It got me excited to watch this movie. Mm -hmm. It bummed me out for sure because I know that we're not going to live in this world anymore. But I know I know that, you know, Barry's going to go to another, you know, multiverse or another uh, timeline. And then he's going to just come back, right? He's going to fix it. And then he's going to come back. And then we're never going to see those people again. Yeah. And then whatever happens in the timeline he comes to is all different, right? And mm -hmm. so, and and then, you know, welcome to the, the um, what's his name? The director of Guardians. James Gunn. James Gunn. Welcome to the James Gunn universe. Which right? is fun. Which, okay. I, so I'm indifferent about it, right? Because okay. it's all really good. Yeah. I love the Michael Keaton stuff. We got mm -hmm. Zod back. We're in the Man of Steel like time frame. Yeah. And so Barry screws everything up because he mm. wants to be with his mom. So now he's got to fix everything. We got Sasha Kaya and she's going to be Supergirl. And Flying she around. does some crazy stuff mm -hmm. with the laser eyes and the flying and the yeah. speed. And it's all great and visually looks amazing. It's already being coined as one of the best superheroes ever made just from the test screenings yeah. that have been out there. So all in all, it has all the things in place for me to get hyped about it. But I ask myself, we're going to go watch and see, we're going to go see and watch a movie for two hours. And then None of it matters. what? Yeah. And then what? And then we don't You're really going to walk out of it. Like, well, now what? <laughs> yeah. We're going to walk. Exactly. The, the feeling you want from guardians is what we're yeah. going to have after we walk out of the flash. And yep. As we're going to be like, well, then what? Mm -hmm. What next? Because everything that just happened kind of doesn't mean anything. Right? Which they've already said. It's not like some kind of secret. They've already put it on paper. Like this is but the e end. But even if you didn't know, even if you weren't following the movies even, or the movie news, and even if you you know weren't following all this DC drama, yeah, you're going to go and you're going to watch this movie as a fan. Let's say we didn't know anything about it. We just go, we show up, we start this movie. He's going to start in a timeline. Mm -hmm. He's going to go to a different timeline. Yeah. Right. He's going to screw things up at the end of the movie. He's going back to the original timeline or mm -hmm. to another timeline. Right. Yeah. So even if you didn't know, you would understand that everything that just happened doesn't mean anything mm -hmm. because it was all temporary. Yeah. Right. He starts somewhere, goes somewhere else, comes back. So then, yeah, it doesn't matter. No matter what happens, it doesn't matter what he does because he's going to fix it come back and then continue on with his normal life. Yeah. And and then and yeah. and then we move on as fans basically, mm. right? That's all like all we can do. That's that's it. That's all we can do. And so hopefully it's a nice little I you know, Ezra Miller, I I hope Ezra Miller is doing well. I want nothing but the best for Ezra, but I yeah. I I don't know what DC does with him after this. I really don't. I know they want to keep him it's a lot of, it's just, it's so much chaos. It is. It's a lot of chaos. Yeah. So, you know, I, I enjoyed the trailer. The trailer was good. It was a yeah. good, it was cut. long too. It was long. It was, it was long. a lot, but they showed so much way more than I thought they were going to show us. I know. And maybe the Michael Keaton is not the craziest thing that we see, but you know, we got Ben Affleck in there. I was surprised, I guess that we, you know, we were all, like, they basically were like, here's everything. Yeah. But maybe it's not everything. And that's the only thing I can hope for as far as just enjoying the movie and being surprised. But it was a good yeah. cut of the trailer. The it was trailer great. Had, it was a, a well-done trailer that got me excited. It did its job, but I can't help but be bummed out at the end of it. Yeah. That's my only takeaway from it. Which I think we've always known. We did, yeah. And, and here's kind of my take. and I think, again, speculation, nobody yep, knows. Yep, the yep, the yep. drama has been for going on for 10 years. Like, 10 years as me, and you guys know me, I'm a massive yeah. DC fan. Like, I still go to comic book stores and pick up comics yeah. like and read them for just a few people. But I still, like, I still do it. Yeah. So, this is what I think is going to happen. So, not really as much as the trailer, just kind of my thoughts on things. Okay. And it's going to change tomorrow morning. Like, it's, sure. it'll change. Sure. This is going to be one of the greatest superhero movies we've ever seen. Yeah. Like, it, it is going to be... Like, it'll start to be in conversations yes. with all these other superhero movies that we all deem the greatest. Mm -hmm. Box office-wise, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't right. know yet. It doesn't come out till June. 
No, nobody knows yeah. other than if you're the top know, people yeah. that really talk about box office numbers. But we don't know what kind of support it's going to have. Yeah. The, Marketing yeah. just started, yeah. I feel like, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you got your first trailer. How's your marketing campaign going to go for, for all summer, yeah. really, for yeah. spring and summer? But so it's going to be one of the greatest movies we've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I really believe that. I, I don't disagree with you. And just like you said, it means nothing. Who right. cares? Yeah. Who cares if it wins all the Oscars and yeah. everything? Because whatever happens in this movie, because it's Flashpoint, basically, in the original Flashpoint. Yes. He just royally screwed up everything. Yes. And it sent the comics on a whole other thing, which turned out to be good in the comic books. Right. We yeah. all like, oh, this, all right, cool. It's like screwed everybody up. But now we're on a new timeline and this is really, really great. Yeah. And I don't know if this movie is going to end seeing something from James Gunn and Peter Safran's world. Yeah. I don't know. So either. is it going to start with like, okay, the movie ends, he's at the end and he sees two portals. And one of them is Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill yeah. and all of that. And one of them is the new characters that we know when we're announced. Mm-hmm. A Batman, a Swamp Thing, a Green Lantern, yeah, blah, blah, right, blah. Right, right. So is he going to be looking at two? And in one portal, we see a Green Lantern mm-hmm. and we see all this stuff. And in the old one, we see Ben Affleck and all those guys. And he goes into that one and then it that one gets destroyed. And then right. It the pans up to that new world of all this new stuff. And that's all, yeah. And, and, then, and that would be cool. So I'm like, okay, it's done. Right. It's over. The screen panned up. We saw the new stuff. We saw all this. Yeah. Henry Cavill and Ezra Miller went into that timeline, and they picked now it exists in something only in the past. Yeah, exactly. And then, I, and then, I, and then I'm cool with it. Or is it still going to end in a way that we're like, well, now I'm still confused. Now I still don't know what's going on. Are they keeping Ezra? Are they not? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. From my understanding, this movie is going to answer all of our questions that everybody uh, yeah. said. I hope so. And right. da, da, yeah, da, yeah. Da, da. Yeah. But that's the only way I see this going is that there has to be something at the end of this movie where Amy Adams and all these other yeah. people that are not coming back, we see little glimpses of them and they disappear like one by one. Yeah. And yeah. Zod disappears. And metropolis disappears and the daily planet just dis- all this stuff yeah. disappears and you're like oh shit yeah like it's, it's all gone, gone away gone. and yeah. then little tiny very small snippets of the new dc start comes okay. around yeah. and then that's what fills the screen and that's where it ends i have no idea but that would be amazing that would be great because i'm like cool now i because have an it's understanding just the path right it's just yep, it's now we just, know exactly what's and that's happening why like you can do all this stuff with timelines because i remember when barry did all this stuff in the first he's like i don't know which timeline to go to yeah, I created one? six different ones, and now I'm stuck. And in the comics, he ultimately yeah. chooses the one that's created, and then we go forward with. Yeah. So and it's then... very clear which timeline he jumped in because that's where the world continued. Right. So right. can it just be that same way where we, he jumps in the one, or if Ezra Miller's not continuing, if that whole thing is over, then he goes into the old timeline. Yeah. And then that timeline disappears. It disappears, and, and we don't see it again. And then a new one starts, and yeah. then that's the end of the movie. Yeah, and we don't, we no longer deal with that we, it's, anymore. It's all over with. And I guess you're right. I just, I just want by the end of it to be like, dang. All right, it's over. The Zach, every, everything is officially over. Right. You can't talk about it. You can't hashtag it. Zack Snyder you can't universe wonder. is done. Zack Snyder's got so many other cool projects. I don't know if you've oh, seen what yeah. he's working on. Something's gonna be great. The moon. Oh, really it, cool the, stuff. He's uh, got three, like three yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. One's like all in post production. So one's something here. moon. I can't remember now. But there's another upcoming ones. So I'm just, I just by the end of this movie, I just want to have a very, very clear understanding. I, of what? Hey, Hen- Henry Cavill. Guess what? He boofed off into that other yeah. timeline where he's. Yeah, I mean, I, or the I, timeline gets destroyed. I, I don't know not, whatever it right. is. Right, I can't agree with you. I more. just want to know by the end of it exactly and right. Be at peace. And I, for I the know most exactly part, what am. you're saying. Yeah, for the most part, I am. No, I, I think what you're saying is correct. I think as long as we have a very clear understanding of what is happening in the future, mm-hmm. then really, honestly, it doesn't matter what they decide as long as they decide something. But I do and think the movie's going to be great. I do. I agree. I, do I think, think it's going to be, be a very great. good movie. There's nothing I think is wrong with this movie thus far. I'm talking about the movie, not everything in the background. I'm yeah. saying that when you watch the trailer, I don't see anything that gives me pause Yeah. as far as how good the movie is going to be. So I'm very I'm excited for it. But you're right. With everything that we know about what's happening behind the scenes, mm-hmm. I hope this movie ends in a way 
where we all just have a clear understanding yeah. as to what is happening next. And that's Be- all I want. Because I, give me something to root for. Yeah. Just give me something to root for. When someone says, I, you know, I'm, I'm DC, mm-hmm. you know, I'm on team DC. What does that mean? We don't yeah. even know what that means right now. And we don't have time for it now. No, we don't. But even the whole the James Gunn announcement and everything from last week, it's still it still it's was unclear. Still, it still bothers me. Yeah, absolutely. It it still There's, bothers, and I'm excited. Yo, Green Lantern's come. Like I'm excited for everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm on board. Like I'm I'm ready for it. But like I'm there's where there's still going to be two Batmans. Yes. Whether you call it Else Worlds or it's doesn't part of the matter. main, it doesn't yeah. freaking matter. Yeah. Because we understand that. We, right. I, I we know, know there's an Else World. Yeah. But my uncle doesn't, or my dad doesn't, or yeah. my cousin that's a casual fan. They're still gonna be confused. Yeah. Because so you're matter. still going about it the wrong way. Yes. Exactly. I I am so sorry. I know we don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> I am so so sorry. But I still would. <laughs> I still would have gotten rid of the Matt Reeves stuff. I would have gotten rid of the Joker stuff. Oh, get rid of everything. I would have. I'm sorry. I know everybody loved it, but we have to start fresh. Yeah. We cannot have two Batman around. We just can't. Yeah. We cannot call it Elseworlds. We cannot have two things going on. Yeah. Because it's still going to be, it's still going to be confusing for me. I I get it. I loved Matt Reeves. I love Matt Reeves. Planet of the Apes. Great. Joaquin Phoenix joke. Great billion dollar rated R. All fantastic. Either put them in or take them out. Yeah. But now you still have the exact same problem of two things going on at the right. same time. Yeah. I mean, again, I agree with you. I but think you just need, I think it's we, all good. We should just make it clear. But, I, it but clear. at the end of the day, I'm excited. I'm ready yeah. to see what the happens. The Flash is going to be fantastic. It's going to be a great movie. I think it's going to be um, fun for everyone. So I'm, I'm excited. But even before that, now in February, mm-hmm. couple days, couple days away, we have something that I believe is going to be great ant-man and, and the, the wasp, wasp quantumania, quantumania is quantumania is is coming out <laughs> it's on thursday what you th- we haven't talked about this we at haven't all. talked about it at all i'll go first this time okay um so i liked Ant man one and two again they okay. weren't like flawless or great yeah. but i mean there were plenty and there's plenty of enjoyment in both movies oh, yeah. i really i really really They're liked fun. them uh, yeah. The King stuff is exciting. The Cassie yeah. stuff is exciting. Again, this is very normal. I, I feel I truly feel like the Ant Man's really been just those movies. They haven't yeah. messed with all kinds of other right. stuff, which makes it annoying. Again, Paul Rudd's great. I like so the first good. two. I'm I'm excited for this one. Paul Rudd's um, fantastic. Jonathan Majors, like the guy is just incredible. Um, he's he's a fire. physical specimen of perfection. <laughs> the, guy, the guy's incredible. Um, I don't know where this movie leads. I don't really know where it ends. I don't know what's next, which is great. I don't know really any right. idea yeah. of what's happening. I hope they don't do that kind of extravagant thing that leaves you like, well, well, now I know exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. In uh, what else is coming out this year for Marvel? Uh, the Marvels. The Marvels. That'll yeah. probably be your cutscene, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. don't want them to make it too confusing. Like, give Paul Rudd his movie. But I'm I'm excited. It's very Guardians of the Galaxy. It's yeah, Quantum Realm. It's colorful. It's your set pieces are extravagant. Like it's all very wild. And, yeah, and I'm and I'm excited about that. I'm excited because it's Paul Rudd. There's a lot going on, but I hope they do it. I hope it's a good movie. Yeah, it and, does and seem. I, I think it'll be a good movie. I'm like, damn, that was. It's probably even hopefully better than one and two. One was I really enjoyed. Yeah, one's really good. Um, but really I'm, fun. I They're mean, both fun, but I'm. Not over the moon excited. I'm not like oh, it's Marvel, like whatever. I'm like I'm relatively excited. Like you're like it's gonna be good. So I'm like I'm got high hopes. I'm getting my popcorn and my drink yeah. on Thursday. So for me, I'm very like neutral about it. I, I do expect okay. it to be good. Hmm. And if it's good, cool. It was a good movie. If it was bad, I'm not gonna be like, well, it was supposed to be good because like if it's bad, then I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, and you're right. Bad. If it's standalone and it's bad, then it doesn't really affect anything. Yeah. Right. So you're. But I'm sure like, we'll get oh, a okay. cutscene. We'll get a. Sure, we will. Uh, Kamala might show up. Uh, or yeah, I don't. I don't know, know what the you deal know, whatever is. Whatever the because I'm so like far removed from the way things used to work that I'm not quite sure where we are. So the if only you pull pull it out and you're right. Doing things I don't know where we are. So to me that makes it way more enjoyable <laughs> for me because I don't know what's what is this. This so, movie falls before Thor: Love and it falls after. Black, Okay, did they already have T'Challa's funeral? So they'll bring up T'Challa one more time. Like, I don't quite know where it's right. at. 
And I'm okay with that. So I'm not well, going to do the whole watch this before you see well, that's what I was gonna stuff say. this week. I'm just going to go into it. Because I don't know if you have to like watch Loki, which is where Kang comes from. And so I don't you know have, if you have yeah. to like well, be aware of it. that. And yeah. so is, does Loki come into play at all in this situation? He because could. that's where Kang was introduced. And mm-hmm. so... I don't. I have no idea, yeah. and I'm excited for all the same reasons you are. All star cast. I'm really excited to see where this, uh, you know, Paul Rudd takes this character, and I honestly kind of feel like it might be his swan song. And you know, if we're gonna get some heartstrings pulled here, it might be with Paul Rudd and his character. Yeah, that would be tough because everybody be. loves him. Yeah, it's, he's so good, but yeah. he's off to you know other things, and so. I doesn't. It wouldn't surprise me if they were like, you know what? He dies for his daughter, and his daughter becomes the next Ant Man, right? Yeah. And, you know, so because we're gonna make the Young Avengers, and so the dad mm-hmm. risks his life for his daughter, and so now we move on with her. But and how great would that moment be? I hope it. We're happens. in the quantum realm. We're doing something, or King's like, hey, you need to pick right now. Yeah. It's you or her, because I'm. Yeah. Killing one of you. And he's like me. He's like, oh, me 100%. In a heartbeat. It's like, me without and, hesitation. And then they have the moment. He's like, hey, you need to go. You need to find. Yeah. That would Whatever. be a good segue. So and so. I know. And but then, again, so, I don't know who the big thing is. Like, who's the big. Kane. No, but like, who's the hero? Who's the Iron Man of everything going on right now, would you say? No, I don't think there is one because it's the Young Avengers. What I is think everyone is like. Captain Marvel's name. You're saying like uh, Carol Danvers? Carol Danvers. Oh. He's like, you need to find Carol Danvers. Like, oh. she'll tell you what to do next. That would be like a cool. Yeah, but I think, she's, like, I think she's out too. I think, I think See, Kamala that's why I'm like. like gonna be oh, the yeah. One. Or like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Over. Dude, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, but that's the thing. Is saying, I don't know what's happening, and I'm kind of excited about it. Which is great, because then I'm like, cool. Then yeah. don't worry about all the details you need to go into this movie. Just go and I'm enjoy just going it. in. Some of the coolest things about Ant-Man are all the effects. And so yeah. just go have it's a It's going to be so colorful. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. It is kind of crazy. I do worry that we're going to get kind of chaotic in the movie and kind but of lose sight. all the Marvel stuff. I know. They're all all. They're all and nobody a like it's a lot yeah. but it's okay it's gonna be fun yeah it's gonna be a good time i'm excited I, i'm excited to watch it i'm taking the kiddos to see it on sunday and imax cool. we're gonna have a blast just watching it and having a good time so i i my only hope for the movie is that it's not bad that it's not or sh- that it's not silly like too it, silly that it's bad i think it might be like all three like the first second like they're all just good like it's a solid yeah. trilogy and when that's good like because you're right trilogy. if you don't have to worry about all of the other stuff that's happening in marvel yep. you can just go watch the ant-man trilogy mm-hmm. and enjoy it for what it is then actually to me that's pretty good i'm all about it then you don't but have I, to watch but all I am this other excited stuff. i think we've yeah, been excited be for really a while good. so we'll get that review out we'll get an out of theater from you Hopefully we'll get a full review after that and we can uh, move on and talk about some good stuff coming out throughout this year. So do we have anything else coming up? Well, other than Creed 3? Well, we got Creed 3, but we got to get through The Last of Us. Yes. So I do want to watch. We didn't even talk about We didn't talk about There's so much. But that's okay. We're kind of in the it's middle okay. of it. It's okay. Yeah. We're right in we the gotta middle. We got to get through it. I haven't played the game in a while. I'll go pick up the you game. should pick up the game. I'll go it's replay so the game. But let's get through it. We'll talk about the whole thing. We can break down yeah. certain episodes and what we liked and disliked. But we do have a Last of Us review coming up. Yep. We Yes, Creed 3. Of course, we got more Marvel stuff. We got DC stuff. We got so much going on right now in both movies and TV that we're about to get into for the year. Yeah. So stay tuned. It's coming down the pipeline now because oh, yeah. there's so much ahead of us. So please like and subscribe. And to like show. communicate. If you did get this far in the video, throw a comment, throw your thoughts and be like, hey, you Disagree. guys had some good takes. Or like, hey, you guys really don't know shit. Yeah. Like, let me tell you why you're wrong. Dude, I'm all Good title it. for the show. You guys are Idiots. dumb. <laughs> and that's cool. I get a lot yeah. of interaction on Instagram from people. Good. So that's fun. Let's get it on YouTube, though. Like, let me know what I you know. guys' thoughts are and stuff because I love to interact. Tell us what you think. All let right. Let me know. Like, Stay subscribe. next one. Comment, IG, Instagram, Twitter. All of them. Uh, all, of them. all that stuff. All right, guys. Later. See ya.